Hello, my name is Jeffrey Prang, and I send you greetings from the beautiful city of Los Angeles here in sunny Southern California. I'm here today to share with you a little bit about my story, my own, uh, my own background, but in particular the story of my family, which has Kashubian Polish roots. So to begin with, uh, I'm originally from the state of Michigan. I was born in Detroit, and I grew up in Warren, Michigan. I grew up in a community where most of the people had uh, relatively recent roots in Europe, particularly from Poland and to a lesser degree from Italy. I grew up in Michigan and I graduated from Michigan State University. And when I was 25 years old, I moved to California, which is why I offer you greetings here from, uh, from California. I lived in California for the, almost the last 30 years. Um, I'm involved in government and uh, for 18 years, I served as the mayor and city council member for the city of West Hollywood. Uh, many people throughout the world know of West Hollywood. It's famous for the Sunset Strip, for Hollywood stars, for movie studios. And I served there for, uh, for many years, including four terms as mayor. Uh, originally, my father's family originally comes from Europe. I knew that my dad's family came from what is today Poland. His father, as a young boy, immigrated in the late 1800s and his mother's parents immigrated just a little bit before his, his father's. Um, when I was growing up, I didn't quite understand what my father's family heritage was. My grandmother said that we were Kashubs. Um, so we asked ourselves, no, none of us knew, my aunts, my uncles, my father, even though he was the child of an immigrant, he didn't really know what a Kashub was. They were very insistent that it was not German, that it was not Polish, in fact, I was told that my grandmother spoke the Kashubian language, although I'm also told that she also understood German as well as, uh, as, as Polish. Unfortunately, during those days, uh, in the early 1900s, a lot of immigrant uh, families, when they moved from Europe, didn't work very hard to retain their local language, uh, their, their native language, or their heritage. And even though both my grandparents spoke Kashubian, none of my uh, aunts or uncles uh, knew what the language was or understood it when they were growing up. They were, uh, they all grew up as, uh, as Americans and uh, with very little understanding of where their, their parents and grandparents had come from. But I do remember we were all somewhat perplexed as to what a Kashub was. When I was in uh, high school, I actually wrote a letter to uh, Mount St. Mary's College in, uh, in Michigan and uh, they had a a college of Polish studies and I asked them what a Kashub was and they I got the very first answer telling me that uh, uh, where the Kashubian people came from about their language which seemed to be very much in sync with the little bit that my grandmother was able to tell me. I remember speaking to some of my classmates in high school who called themselves Kashubs and they had a, a, a version they believed that if you had one German parent and one Polish parent you were a Kashub and I remember my grandmother saying that that was not accurate but nobody really quite, uh, quite knew. Um, as I got older, I got very interested in genealogy, and I spent a lot of years studying uh, family history. It was very difficult to study my father's family history because they were immigrants. At the time they left uh, what is now Poland, uh, it was under German control, and I didn't speak German or Polish. Thanks to the uh, research of the, uh, of the Mormon church, I discovered that my grandfather his, he was born, Julius Joseph Pranga, was born in the city of Gdynia, in the community called Akshive. And for the first time ever, I had a place, a location, and actually almost an address where he was born. I learned that my grandmother's parents came from the city of Putsk, uh, which is about an hour north of, uh, north of Gdynia. And uh, thanks to modern technology and the internet and Ancestry.com, I began to make more and more contacts uh, with distant relatives in Poland who have been helping me to connect, connect the dots between uh, uh, where we are in America, where we started, and now that uh, I think I fully understand uh, where my grandparents came from, what a Kashubian is, what Kashubian culture and heritage is, it's uh, become very, very important and special to me, and I'm really delighted to have the opportunity to participate in this study and share the experiences of Kashubian immigrants to the United States with, uh, with, with all of you. So through my genealogical studies, I learned 
a lot more about my uh, my families and the the names that are associated with my family. My dad, my name is Prang. However, I know that my grandfather, Julius Joseph Prang, was actually born Julius Martinez Pranga. I don't know why he dropped the A from his last name, maybe to make it sound more American. I know that he had brothers, and his brothers kept the A at the end of their name until they died. Um, my grandmother, her maiden name was Oken, O-K-O-N, and her mother's maiden name was Skwirtz. And when I was in Poland, I saw that there were a lot of Okens and Skwirtzes still living in the same area around uh, Putsk and uh, uh, the Pomeranian uh, province of, of Poland. My father's mother, her name was Plotsky, and I see that in that same area of Poland there are still Plotskys. And so I've uh, been able to expand the, uh, the family tree to find uh, more, more names that have helped me connect with distant cousins who are helping me fill in, the, uh, in, the, uh, in, in all of the gaps. It's been a pleasure to have this opportunity to share with you my Polish Kashubian American story and that of my family. Kashubia forever. Viedno Kashebe.